Hi friends, this is MD Vegan for life. Yeah, today a special recipe from a very dear friend, from a very dear culture, an ancient culture, the Persian culture. Yeah, it's um, nowadays Iran, and that's an ancient culture, and they have deep connections to India, where uh, I feel that all the knowledge is coming from here. I do practice tree yoga, you see. Tree yoga, or tri yoga as you like. You know, postures specific for tri yoga. And um, we know that the knowledge comes from India, but we know there's a great influence on, on Persia, on Iran nowadays, and they have a wonderful cuisine there. I mean, that to make a short story long, <laughs> I could, but to make it short, really, they come up with the most beautiful recipes, and you don't have any idea what they are doing there, all the time, every day. Um, and I have friends here from Persia, and they are telling me something of their recipes. They have invited, they invite me at their home. They have huge communities, many friends. They used to cook for many people. I like that a lot, because, um, well, that's what we're missing here in Germany, in the Western cultures. They are also split. There are many advantages, but this one, wow. Okay, now this recipe is really the top. I really I like it a lot. I have to show you, and I will build on it, and I will make a series of recipes building upon this basic one. I already made one previously, just to show you how to make this wonderful pomegranate juice. See, just these are two pomegranates, and that's just the juice without the white peel around the kernels inside, and there's a method. That is a nice, elegant method. I'm not the master in that yet, but I'm practicing and I'm showing the video how to do that. You can learn it yourself how to make this wonderful juice without anything bitter in it. Almost. Pomegranates have something bitter. And that's uh, also something that's uh, important for this recipe. Because the other ingredient, the other only ingredient, are walnuts. These have been soaked overnight and yeah, they're nice for a snack. You put some salt on it. Himalayan salt preferably for me, but they can, you can use them without their bitter flavor when you soak them and rinse them and drain them and rinse them. Then you have um, this um, pure walnut taste. A little bit bitter, but no harsh bitterness. So these go perfectly together. And there is a dish that's called Fasten Chew. My friend first told me, I said Fasten Chew, when it was happy, went home, tried to write it down was desperate. No way to know how that was written. Fasten tune. Maybe you found out in the video. It's written on the video. Fasten tune. That is um. That means sweet darling or something. And there's a very famous um, um, meal, yeah, dish in Iran and from all time. And it's just um, they do it differently. I show you later what step to do. But for now, I make the dressing. Just the pheasant chum, I call that pheasant chum, sweet darling, <laughs> uh, and um, to combine them with uh, salads and many more. It can be sweet, it can be uh, savory. They use it in a savory, heavy um, sauce uh, in a um, dish with rice or have different cereals, but um, that can come later. First, you have to try this dressing, you will be amazed, I bet. I mean. That's really amazing. The bitterness, the sweetness, the sourness, all is a perfect relationship. Walnuts and pomegranate. So I put some, maybe, uh, yeah, I put almost ever, all the all the juice in it. Okay, no problem. Uh, I guess that it might be a nice combination. Uh, the blender has to do some has to have some work to do. It's nice if you can really work nicely, and uh, the blades are all covered with liquid. Now, we go.
first, but it's really pre premier almost. Oh yeah, texture nice, nice. Oh, oh. friends, you will love it <laughs> for sure. Look, have a look how it runs into the glass. This is just I mean you can drink it as a smoothie, of course, but I will do it as a dressing for some nice salads. Here, isn't that a nice color? Most beautiful color, right? Ah, and of course, you can vary. And if you have an idea, if you come up with an idea how to make a, a salad or another dish with this, please let me know. Uh, you can comment, yeah? and then we have a nice communication. And I will come up with the next recipe very soon. And probably, probably you are first. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel too. It's MDV on YouTube. Maybe you know. And I will be very happy to have your mails or comments and nice communication. Fessen schön. Sweet darling. <laughs>